Welcome to Peeps Creek, the cafe. All right, so if you've been following us, you normally would know that this is a podcast. That means we normally talk and videoing about some kind of subject, all right? But we recently started a virtual book club, so that means that we had to beef up our what? YouTube channel. Are you excited? <laughs> So excited. So excited. And today's video is a product review. A product review. All right. So, but before we do that here at the Peach Creek Cafe, we always have a drink. And even though we just had a splendiferous shot, I still need to make us a drink. So, while I make us a drink, because it's always important ta, 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 ah, to always have another round. And normally when you go to a bar and a bartender makes you a shot, you normally would say what? The magic words? Thank you. But this asshole is still welcome. All right. <laughs> ah. Drinking. It's only fun if you are over the age of 21, so we only promote drinking if you are of age. And I've already checked everyone's ID here. Everyone meet Coco, the uh, newest addition to the Peep Creek family. Cafe family. She's shy. She's a little shy right now. This is their bedtime. <laughs> past their curfew. <laughs> she's a hermit crab. But she's in there. And alive, I promise. She's so annoying. She's so boring, like. She really is my daughter. What the fuck, you guys suck. It's okay, it's part of the process. Cheers, your man. Cheers, old man. <sighs> I think that's pretty good. All right, so. As Christian indicated. Product but, review. Product review, by the way. I'm Sean. You should know that already. And today's product is going to be da -da -da -da, a hookah review. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Voodoo hookah. So we are going to set it up. Fail. Voodoo hookah. All right. So, first of all, so I like hookah, right? And so I have... As you guys should know. Yes, because it's always in the background. And if you heard Denise... She hates it. She hates the sound. All right. So, I have a large one that I call my big baby. Okay. But... Um, and then I have a medium-sized one. Yeah. Right? But it's difficult to travel with. So, I wanted to get a hookah that I could travel with. Like if I'm going somewhere, like when we go to down to Virginia Beach to record, I can take my hookah and I can still enjoy a little. He can still feel like himself. Yes. All right. So I decided that I was going to go and purchase a booty hookah, um, small version. Initially, I was going to get a plastic one. Let's rewind. <clears throat> I went and purchased the hookah. Thank you. He did with strict instructions from me. All right. Mm. So now this hookah comes in six different colors. You can get blue, you can get black, you can get green, you can get pink, you can get white, and you can also get red. So let's see what Christian got us today. So you have your ceramic hookah head here, as you can see. You can get this anywhere. And then you have your little tea size, baby size, cute little hookah. Look at that, that hookah is so cute. Look at that, look at that. Now, now, do you see the little designs? They even took time to put little designs here. Now, nah, it's okay. I don't really look at designs, but it's still cute, right? Look, boom. All right. <laughs> First review. What, what's this called? The uh, That's tongs. The tongs for the chuckle. You guys see that? Oh, very small, as you can see, it matches no, this. No, do you not see it? It's like 
How? It's not even... It's flimsy, Flim basically, yeah. okay? So it's almost like a Lumo foil. Um, so if you have... My suggestion would be, personally, if you already have tongs, um, for instance, for my big baby, you know, I have this real... This is real metal here. Boom, boom, bam. Cold. Ha, ha. You can get it. <laughs> so this one is a little flimsy, but it still would do the trick, right? If you are in a rush, you don't really have the other utensils and you don't want to go and buy it, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so all that comes in the box is this. You have your hookah holes, a little small, little rubber holes. I think it will work a regular size hose as well, but here's what we'll do. As you can see here, this is the opening for the hookah there, the 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 holes and we can see if a regular size hookah hose would fit in there this one goes to big baby and we'll see if that goes in and it does not okay it, it will not fit a regular hose will not fit so you have to get something that would actually work um for the miniature size hookah so if you're the type of person who cares about the holes and you want, um, you don't want plastic or rubber, whatever the hell this is. If you don't want the rubber holes and you want more of the cloth holes, or um, you will have to find the size that actually works for you. Okay, so let's see how this thing actually smokes when you put it together so we're going to go ahead and put it together all right so we have a charcoal burner you don't necessarily have to have charcoal burner but I have one um, just because I also like to use the coconut charcoal which normally takes a little more time to heat up but forever but it lasts forever um, so we are going to do um, a quick charcoal so we're, while that is doing that um, we will let it do its magic. Now, one thing I will say about this particular product is that, um, as you can see here, it's kind of bent up, like, look like somebody like beat it. Now, one thing about me with products, if it's not immaculate when I buy it, I will return it. Um, <laughs> so, um, but for me, I don't really like this. I like my stuff looking good and I like to be the one to mess it up because it gives it character. But right now I feel like she doesn't have character so I can't even figure out what her name is right now. Oh, it's a she. Yeah, I guess we can call her Thrifty because chick used. All right. <laughs> review I don't really like these tongs I think they're too flimsy um, I would recommend that you if you, especially if you um, smoke Google I will recommend that you invest in some more sturdy um, tongs but um, as a beginner or a starter or if you just need something quick to go with it is perfectly fine but again flimsy all right flimsy say flimsy all right let's test this out Now, here's the first thing I would notice, I would tell you about this, is that for individuals who don't like to hear the hookah sound, that blowing of the bubbles, that deep bubbles of a hookah, this definitely is a hookah that you can use. Listen, you don't even really hear the bubbles. Can you just hear it louder? Right? You don't. I didn't hear it at first, but now I did. But you don't hear the bubbles like the normal, like how Denise says is annoying. Very quiet. Um, so quiet that you might can actually use this at the back of the airplane while you're flying. Or on a bus. Or in the back of your hookah. Oh, not the hookah. <laughs> your Lyft. Mm -hmm. Or Uber. Uber. But listen, you don't really hear it.
very faint. But as you can see, the clouds are okay. It's a, it's good for like that. I need hookah. I want a small size traveling, um, and you can take it. Maybe if you like traveling, you or at a hotel and y'all have a balcony, you can sit on the balcony and use this, and it won't create too much smoke for the inside of your room where they'll be like, uh-uh, you gotta pay for using tobacco up in here. We're gonna charge you $500. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing is that I would consider this to be single use for a person only using it themselves or only share with people who you are truly comfortable with because as you can see with this hose, is a very small opening, so you really can't put any mouthpieces in here. I have mouthpieces, so can we show them the back of mouthpieces? That would be great. Yes, we can. As you can see, right, we have this bag, disposable mm -hmm. mouthpieces. Like, okay. <laughs> Just snatch it out of here. I mean, because I'm doing a product review right over here. You not bad and white. All right, so as you can see, this is a disposable mouthpiece. And you can't fit it in. The other way. This is right. I know, but try the other way just to see. Ah, well, maybe you can do it this way, but let's see. You can do it backwards and see if it gives it to you. You get a very faint cloud. Definitely not worth it. Let me see it. All right, calm down. But you still can do your O's. Did you see that? You saw those O's? Ah, circles. What you think as someone who don't really smoke hookah, but just like periodically? Do you like it? Would you recommend it or don't recommend it? I'd recommend like the big one you have. I know it's not as like, you can't take it everywhere, but it's not bad, honestly. You still taste the flavor. There's still smoke coming out of it. Still smoke coming out of it. It's not that bad. It's for actually, it to be like on the, the price that we got it for right. and uh, everything, it's really not that bad. All right. So that's the product review of the Voodoo Hookah. Um, on a scale, if I had to rate it between one to ten on of hookahs, it would be unfair because then I'm I'm comparing it to Big Baby, and I don't want to do that. Um, but if I if I have to rate this as a hookah that I could just take on the go um, to a new location, to the beach, what have you, and I just want to quickly manage it and be able to put it in my book bag or what have you, I think it works wonders for that. The only thing that I will say is that make sure that you think about the tongs. Um, you can definitely use these. These are, it is flimsy though. Um, think about how long it may last of a smoking session because it is a small head. Um, and so you have to take that in consideration. But overall, I think it, on a scale of one to 10 for table size hookahs, I would give it maybe a 6.5. Um, 6.5 mainly because it is um, easily manageable, it's transportable. Um, it's something that can do the trick for the moment that you need. Um, but the holes suck that it comes with, so you might want to look at some additional holes that will actually fit this one. Um, the tongs, mm, not so much. Um, and you can't necessarily use a heat management system for it because the head is so small. You have to find one um, that will fit um, smaller hookahs. Or you can actually use your hookah head, your regular hookah head for this if you want to try to have a longer smoking session with your heat management system on top, you actually can put it on there because it does have the rubber piece in there to make it thicker to um, actually house the, the hook. So yeah, so this is our first product review. Um, we will be doing this more often, um, mainly because I order so much shit from Amazon and this place and that place. Um, and so at the end of the day, um, do I recommend it? I recommend it if it is something that you need to travel with. I would not recommend it for someone who wants to use it as their primary hookah or someone who wants to use it because you still live in your parents, maybe in the, the basement or in the dormitory and you don't have enough space. Maybe this will work for you because you can quickly hide it. I'm not recommending that you do anything improper or illegal, but if you need to disguise it, you definitely can. 
All right, so <laughs> cheers to Pips Creek, the cafe, our first product review. And you guys see how he didn't ask how I, if I would recommend it or how I feel about it. Let's back that up. Would you recommend it? 